But I'll be honest, um, it isn't like I have access to the account and I just take the money and you know throw over the fence. Um, <laughs> but frankly, I don't think you want that, right? Even if you like, I have other trusts for my family and everything else through you know Chase and everyone else. Um, those are even more cumbersome. Where and, and, and that's intentional. Like you want to have a layer of vetting. Um, you know, God forbid if you become an alcoholic or something happens, you want to have a third party to kind of keep it in check. So talk about just the freedom and flexibility to still do what you would have done. It's just yeah. with extra amount of capital to work with. Yeah, sure. So uh, prior to the DST, you know, I, I guess I make money on the, the land deals themselves, but I have to keep the lights on through consistent income. And one of those ways is I have a substantial portfolio of notes. And those notes are essentially me giving money to flippers that I've known for many years. Um, and so I already was doing that. I did the DST. Um, and by the way, those those returns are like 11% and three points. So, you know, 14 to 15% annualized. But anyways, um, and I essentially just took the DST money and used it for that. So then that's a completely, you know, ancillary opportunity. Um, you know, we have whatever was left, you know, in the account, Brett said, hey, it's sitting here in cash. What do you want to do with it? And I said, well, let's put it in T bills. You know, they're paying five, six percent. So we, you know, again, another avenue that was fairly easy. Um, you have a on staff advisor that makes it very easy if you want ETF. So, yeah, I mean, you have the ordinary capital markets and asset classes at your disposal, right? So, absolutely, yeah, the flexibility to keep liquidity and to go into the deals you already were going into anyways with that extra. In this scenario, it's anywhere from twenty-five to fifty percent more. Uh, depending on the depreciation recapture, depending if it's short term or long term and what state you're in. Um, for Tom's deal, it was a larger deal in the Austin, Texas area where he was looking at substantial amount of tax. And so the deferred sales trust can can help you to do that. So, Tom, you talked about legality, right? So that's one of them, right? I think the other one that's big for the entrepreneur is just how does it work with working with as uh, the entrepreneur, Tom, working with Brett as the trustee, right? And and because there is what's called indirect control, meaning the trustee has to approve of investments, right? But perhaps there was hesitation from going, hey, I've got unilateral 100% control. Now there's a, there's a definite extra extra step to keep everything with the integrity because the trust has to trustee has to approve the investments. But just talk about how that how that's gone with discussions, looking at deals, reviewing. Do you feel like it's it slowed you up at all? Do you feel like there's been any you know anything that you would share with anyone, or how's how's, how's that gone? Yeah, I mean, look, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, it isn't like I have access to the account and I just take the money and you know throw it over the fence. Um, <laughs> but frankly, I don't think you want that, right? Even if you like, I have other trusts for my family and everything else through, you know, Chase and everyone else, um, those are even more cumbersome where, and, and, and that's intentional. Like you want to have a layer of vetting, um, you know, God forbid, if you become an alcoholic or something happens, you want to have a third party to kind of keep it in check. There is some level of scrutiny, but that level was more like, great, Tom, I understand you want to use this capital for X, Y, Z. Um, please fill out a document so I can review so that it's within the lines of what we agreed to in the agreement, right? So, it isn't like you're a hurdle. Uh, I think you're doing the appropriate, call it um, vetting or auditing that should be done. So it's, I mean, if you're talking about adding 30 minutes to a process, that's that's 30 minutes well used.